Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video lecture, we'll see how to uh, import a RDBMS table into Hadoop uh, or HDFS uh, using an options file. Uh, earlier, what we have done, uh, we have used scoop, import, and uh, we have used all the options and uh, in the same command line. So once the command or the length of the command uh, is keeps on increasing right uh, then to maintain it in the command prompt it will be a little challenging for example suppose if i have to use something like this scoop import connect and i have to use the jdbc and uh, i have to pass username password and if i have some query or anything it will be very uh, challenging to maintain all these things into uh, in a single uh, command line so to uh, overcome this, we can use something called uh, uh, options file. This options file, uh, can, we can mention all the options which we want to uh, update and uh, uh, all the options which we want to pass it to scoop can be updated in the file. On This file can be passed as an input to scoop command. Uh, scoop command will then uh, pick up the uh, options file and then it will run the uh, job. For now, let me just uh, create scoop options otherwise i'll just create options file it can be of text or anything i'll just uh, use a dot uh, just a plain ascii file now in this option file what i can do is i can mention uh, after the scoop i have to have import after the import i can have connect statement and uh, connect option after the connect option, what I have to mention, I can mention the connection URL like this quick start dot cloud era, and I can mention the database name DB, and I can mention username and uh, password, and I want to connect to table name. Uh, I can give the table name as well. That's it. You can pass all the options, each option in one line, and you can uh, uh, compose this options file, and you can pass this options file into uh, scoop command. So I have uh, done this. I have opened this in a VI editor. So I have entered all the options required, and I have given. Uh, I have uh, saved the file. Control X, sorry, Control Escape colon X and uh, Shift, and I have my options file ready. I can quickly show you that. So my options file is ready. Now to use this uh, with scoop, uh, there is an option called. To do this uh, with scoop, I can see uh, the available command. In this command, I don't see that options file, uh, but there is an option called scoop hyphen hyphen options hyphen file, and I can pass the file where I have created. I have created the file in the current directory uh, with the name options file and i think that's it i can give enter now you can see that it is taking it is picking the options file okay uh, it is uh, referring as a missing argument password okay i have given password but i haven't uh, given any password for that uh, so i will do this and I'll uh, run the job again. And you can see uh, the scoop has picked that option and it has run the job. And you can see that this option uh, with this thing, it is a uh, failing stating that uh, this particular uh, directory already there because in our previous class, we have created uh, uh, the target directory under with this product, right? Uh, so there are two options uh, now either I can delete this uh, uh, directory and I can um, uh, recreate the directory with the job or I can append uh, to the existing directory to append to the existing directory again I have two options either I can update that options option and in the options file or I can do something like this hyphen hyphen update append either I can do this append over here or i can do scoop sorry bim options file at the end of the job i can put as hyphen hyphen 
append. Now I can run this job again. This time it, it won't fail. You can see it is uh, picking up uh, the directory and uh, the job is running again. Now you can see it has submitted the map reduce job. Now you can see my map reduce job is complete and uh, you can see using four partitions it has it has appended to the existing directory so to cross check that i can do ifnl slash user slash cloudera slash products now you can see i'll give the date over here now you can see that these four files are the new files which are created right now you can see the timestamp over here these are the four files which are appended right now right in the same directory we have eight files first four files are created a while ago in our previous lecture and the second four directories have been created with the current job so that's how you use the option file to create the command steps and pass it to the job and if you refer the options file over here we have uh, we have just added the files suppose uh, uh, we, we are not clear on what exactly we are doing here so if you want to add an uh, comment on what exactly you are passing you can do something like uh, comment over here uh, you can add a comment uh, scoop uh, import tool comments are also available uh, uh, scoop import tool and uh, after this you can even give uh, spaces as well new lines as well it doesn't uh, affect uh, the job execution uh, this can have this options file can have comments blank lines and everything uh, but along with the appropriate and uh, correct commands for scoop so this is for uh, connection url and uh, this is username like this I can add all the password, all the comments to my options file. Here I can mention save mode as append. So now this looks a little readable and if someone opens your options file and they'll have a clarity what exactly happening over there. Uh, so with this also it is up, uh, we can, uh, this is an valid uh, options file for scoop uh, command so let me run the job again and it will run absolutely fine now our job is complete and uh, if i see uh, if i see the directory i should be having four 12 files over here from 0 till 11 right and uh, you can see the timestamp uh, these four files have been created just now right so this is how we use uh, options files to create uh, uh, to pass it to the scoop uh, command uh, so that uh, we don't have to write uh, all the commands and options within the uh, uh, shell we can pass it we can type everything into a uh, file text file and that file can be passed into scoop command that's it for this video lecture guys and if you have liked this video please give a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe subscribe to the channel and please do share the channel and uh, spread the knowledge thanks guys and uh, see you in the next video bye